Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a review on the Born Pretty Store Chrome and Holographic Powder. I've used it before, but I want to show you the tricks and what I do to create a really beautiful chrome and holographic look. Um, first of all, I have the tips here and I have put on my base coat. I have applied with the type of black I have just one layer. One layer on my client's nails always works great. And the next step that we're gonna have to do is you have to have a non-wipe, non-tacky top coat. And the one I'm gonna to use today is IBD Intense Seal. It's a LED UV top coat and it's non-tacky. And I purchased this from eBay. So I will put the link below to where I purchased it from. It works great with the chromes. So I'm gonna apply now. And then I'm gonna show you the holographic powder first and what you do to apply it. So we're gonna put a really nice thin layer of top coat. You don't want it real thick, you want it smooth because any imperfections, you're gonna see it in the chrome powder once you apply it. So you wanna make sure it's nice and smooth. Just let it, let it settle there and then I'm gonna seal the edges. You want to make sure you don't miss any of the edges because of course if you don't have that top coat you won't have it going into the top coat correctly. There that's the first one and I'm going to put that in the LED light and my LED light I just love. I just uh, purchased it and it's a LED plus it also cures my UV gels which is just great so I'll put the link for that below as well. Okay, now I'm gonna do my second one here. We're gonna put the top coat on, again, very thin, because you don't wanna see any bumps or imperfections once the chrome goes on. And seal all the edges. I use um, my light to see if there's any imperfections or any um, indents, but it looks really good. So I'm going to put that in the light and we're going to cure them both for 30 seconds in my LED light. Oops. While we're waiting for that, I'll show you my holographic powder. As you can see, it has color to it. It's very pretty. This one's my favorite. And what I apply it with, I use the little um, eyeshadow brush they give. I think that usually works the best. I also have, I'll show you it here, and I've purchased this from AliExpress. It's a really nice um, type of brush. It's made of silicone, and you can use those too. They work not too bad. But today I'm just going to show you it with a little brush that comes with the, the powder. So my first one is ready here. So I'm going to take it. And I'm gonna grab my brush and I'm gonna just apply the holographic powder. Now I'm not gonna to put too, too much and I'm just gonna lightly put it a kind of around right now. And then once you start doing that, then you start pushing it into the non-tacky top coat. Oops. So we're gonna you put some pressure on it just to make sure it's Gonna adhere properly to that top coat. It's so pretty, as you can see here. I'm just gonna push back my my tips wanting to come off, so I'm just gonna push it back on so I can show you it better. So you just apply some pressure just to make sure it's on the top coat correctly. Show you in the light, isn't that pretty? It's really nice, I have to say. I really like the Born Pretty Holographic Powder. Okay, so that one's done. I'm just gonna make sure I get any spots. Now, if you want, if you're not happy with the, the first layer, you can always put the no tack, tacky top coat back on and then do another layer, but mine actually is that's nice coverage. So I'm gonna leave it like that. I can see my reflection in it. I'm just gonna add just a tiny bit right here. I see I missed. And you're gonna wipe that in well. 
it looks so nice okay and then on my client's nails you could use a fan brush um, you want to make sure you don't leave any loose powder you can use that or a really good idea it's a neat trick take your stamper that you would use to stamp with and just go over it lightly and it'll pick up any glitter that you've left behind so I've done that now I'm gonna show you the holographic pardon me the chrome powder for born pretty and I'm just gonna move this one back and show you how nice this is okay so we're gonna just kind of lightly brush it on at first and then I'm gonna start rubbing it in it goes on really nice as well Again, you want to use some pressure. You want to make sure that you've got it rubbed in. And sometimes if you want, I mean, it doesn't hurt. You can use your finger to put some more pressure. That works well too. I'm just going to add a little bit more. A little bit on my finger and push it in here okay as you can see I can see myself I'm not sure if you can see that but I can see myself in it it's very nice okay so then I'm just gonna take my either my fan brush get the excess off and then I'm gonna even take my stamper make sure we get the excess and then that's done and then we're gonna take the top coat again the non wipe top coat and you, this is where you're gonna just lightly apply it because you don't want to take off the chrome that's embedded in the in the black top layer you're gonna just lightly make sure you cover everywhere so that when you go to wipe and you want to seal it in you don't remove any of the nice chrome Okay, that looks good. So that one's gonna go in my LED light. And now I'm just gonna show you the holographic powder. We're gonna cover that up. I just absolutely love this powder. It's so nice. Okay, make sure and seal it everywhere. No bumps in it. So there it is, and we're going to cure them both for 30 seconds. Oops, sorry everybody, I pushed my light back. So 30 seconds, and that's what I think of um, the Born Pretty Chrome and Holographic Powder. It's great. It works great with a no wipe top coat, and you want to make sure and cure the top layer. LED light for... 30 seconds, a UV light for two minutes, and you're done. You just wipe off the inhibition, the sticky layer, if if you were to use a top coat that wasn't non-white, but of course I'm using the non-white, so it's perfect. I just take them out and they're done. Thanks for watching.